What happened at this rally tonight certainly wasn't a love fest, as you have said. You know, there was a lot of love. In the past, and I'm going to tell you some of your own words you have said at your rallies that uh, people should knock the crap out of a protester, that you'd pay the legal fees. You talked about people being brought out on stretchers. Also, you said that you'd like uh, uh, to punch a protester in the face. You've insulted all, you, you've insulted all kinds of people, according to, to what people believe, by saying that Mexico is sending over uh, rapists, uh, that Muslims uh, shouldn't be allowed in this country, there should be a moratorium for a while. Do you, re you regret saying any of those things, especially the things that you have said about punching protesters, sending them out on stretchers? No, I don't regret it at all. Some of these protesters were violent. Uh, they were swinging. They were hitting people. And they were really doing damage. And frankly, the crowd turned on them or the police turned on them. In most cases, it was the police. Uh, and I, I would absolutely, on occasion, usually I say, please don't hurt them. Please take it easy. Because, you know, being elevated and being, you know, looking down at an audience, usually I'm higher than the audience for, so they can see. What happens is I'm able to see the protesters. I'm able to see what's going on. And, you know, generally speaking, it's very mild. But on occasion, and the occasions that you said, I saw very, very uh, strong, very violent protesters hitting people, and yeah, I'm not, I'm not happy about that. And I would always express my feelings about that. And our reporters frankly, who follow uh, you, ago, Mr. Trump, and who have been very fair with you, have said have said that they have not seen protesters attacking anyone. If any, if anything, it is the other way around that protesters are being attacked um, after they start to protest or to in any way disagree with you. Uh, but they're not, protesters are not the ones who, who result to, resort to violence first. It is your it's supporters total, who are it's doing totally, it. It's totally, you know it's not true when you say that statement, Don. You know it's not true. It's absolutely I don't know it's false. not true. That's why I'm asking. They'll, they'll stand up and they'll start swinging at people. It's not all cases. very seldom. I mean, 10% of the cases. But you, we have some very, we've had some very rough dudes as protesters. We had one that his voice was like Pavarotti, Luciano Pavarotti, and he was a tough guy, and he was swinging and hitting people. And then people turned on him and started swinging at him, and ultimately they were successful, and we got bad publicity for it. It wasn't their fault. I mean, this guy was a pretty tough cookie and, and a very loud guy. I don't mind the loud, but he was, he was very violent. And the next day it was like he was this innocent little lamb, and I saw what happened. He was very violent. So... We don't go in there first. On they start, and usually it's not us anyway, Don. Usually it's the police. I mean, we have police forces all over the country who have done a fantastic job, but usually it's the police force.